Kelly and friends, my name is Coach Sarah and I'm one of the coaches from Hazeltine Elementary School. So welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own wind chime. Coach Sarah, what's a wind chime? Coach Sarah, I already know what a wind chime is. I can hear you guys saying that. <laughs> yes, a lot of you probably don't know what a wind chime is. A lot of you probably do. Let me show you guys an example of a wind chime that you can purchase at a store. See? Uh, it's so pretty. Um, this wind chime is a very small wind chime. They come in very di many different sizes and they come in different, uh, different materials also. This is the only one that I have. No, I own two because I made one. And that's the one that you're going to be making today, okay? Wind chimes are very easy to make and they have really great sound and they make great gifts. So if you're thinking of giving somebody a gift, maybe you should come up with doing a wind chime, alright? The best part about the wind chimes is that you can use items that are found in your house. And actually these things, let me show you guys a picture of... A drawer I think you guys own drawers that have random stuff in it if you don't it's okay let's get down to business here's what you need you need some string yarn or ribbon it could be any color ribbon or string that you have you need a coat hanger it can be wooden wired or plastic Or you can use a stick or a ruler. If you will use a ruler or a stick, make sure that you tie both ends, something like this, and cut off any excess string. You will also need objects to hang on your wind chime such as soda cans, old keys, forks, measuring cups, paper clips, anything that will make a sound. Here's what you do. You lay all your objects on the table and think about which ones you want to hang on your wind chime. I chose a fork, I chose a can, a measuring cup, a measuring spoon, old keys, a binder clip, a keychain, a key clip, a dog tag, a military dog tag, tweezers, a tiny bell, an old nail, a whisk, and an L-shaped hex key. Make sure that you ask your parents if it's okay that you grab any of these items. Especially, I, I would say, the keys, because what if it's your house keys? You want to get rid of those. You also want to make sure that you rinse out all your cans before you use them. I'm using what were canned peaches. You can also paint your can to make your wind chime have a pop of color. Tie a piece of string to all the items you will hang on your wind chime. Cut the string different lengths. Next, tie your items to your coat hanger. The heavy items should be towards the middle so that it balances out. So make any changes that you see or that you think that might make your wind chime even better. Experiment with your wind chime. Make it sound the way that you want it to sound, okay? Enjoy making it. It doesn't necessarily have to be made out of metal objects. It could be made out of pencils. Let me give you guys quick facts. Wind chimes actually were used for sailors so that they can hear any shifts in the weather. Obviously, you guys know that there's no weather in here because you cannot hear my wind chime. Also, I was reading that wind chimes uh, were part of the Beatles music. If you know who the Beatles are, supposedly there were wind chimes in their music. So I don't, I'm, I don't, I never paid attention. So you YouTube it, check it out. Now it's time for you to take your wind chime outside to test it. If you can't go outside to test it. 
hang it, ha hang it on something and give it a good shake. Let me tell you guys, I let my son borrow, I let my son borrow my this wind chime that I made and he tangled it, but it's okay. I, we had fun. He had fun. I had fun. Okay. Super cool. You guys can decorate your wind chime. You can decorate your coat hanger. You can decorate your cans. Your cans can be either painted directly or you can put a piece of paper around it, a decorated piece of paper around it. Maybe you made you made a nice picture and you want to uh, decorate it. You can personalize this however you want. You don't, if you don't have any materials, you don't have tape, you don't have glue, you don't have markers, you don't have crayons, you don't have paint, it's okay because look, it still looks really cool. For me, I think it looks really cool. Enjoy, have fun, come back to our page to check out more activities. Take care, bye.